I love Discord. Discord's a great app, but the DMs are driving me crazy. If you're running into the same issue I am where maybe you're not using Discord for a few days and you load it back up and there's just all these messages lined up and you don't know who they are or where they came from and you just want it to stop, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's take a look. Does your Discord look like mine? So when you log in, you get all these insane DMs from tons of people trying to sell you stuff. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna show you how to mute that and limit it as much as possible. And the first thing that we wanna do is mute the server that you're connected to because a lot of these DMs are from people that are on mutual servers that you're joining. So I'm on Gary V's friends and I'm on the Voscoin server and I'm noticing since I've joined those two, I have an insane amount of spam. It takes time to go through each individual one and just close them out. You could spend days doing this if you really want to. But what you really wanna do is mute the servers because muting the servers that you're on and limiting those transactions is probably gonna be the best way to take care of this DM issue. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what to do with them. I'm gonna select the server. So what I'm gonna do is go to privacy settings and allow direct messages from the server. If it's on, you wanna turn it off. That's gonna help you. And the same thing for, I'm gonna do this for Voscoin as well. Privacy settings, it's on automatically. What I wanna do is turn it off. So now people can't find me if I don't have the DM option selected. So that is one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is by going into your settings. So you click on the user settings over here and then you go over to privacy and safety and select this. This is where you can actually dig in a little bit deeper. Here at the top, you have an option of what level of safety you wanna be. You can have don't scan, you can have my friends are nice and you can have keep me safe. So it scans direct messages from everyone. This is a little bit of an AI uh, automated piece right here. If you go down, you can actually just dig in a bit further and you can specify on who you actually want to send you, uh, add you as friends. And you can see over here, by default, it says uh, for servers under privacy defaults, allow direct messages from server members. If you turn this off, any server that you join in the future, no one can DM you. So that is an awesome option just to have by default, turn it off. And if you have a lot of people trying to add you, you can scroll down a little bit further and right over here, you can specify the type of people that can add you. So if they have your username, you can basically say everyone. And as long as they have your account name, they can go ahead and add you. And if you turn it off, not everyone's gonna be able to do that. And then you have the option of friends of friends to add you, and then people that are on servers that can add you. So those are methods, you can just close out of that. So you can uncheck whatever you find useful in this type of situation. Everyone's a little bit different. It really depends on the level of impact that you're having. So uh, it's gonna be a judgment call depending on who you are and the type of environment that you're in and the type of people that you wanna interact with. So I'm just giving you the options of what you can do to just reduce it a bit. I got really annoyed the other day. Uh, I had reinstalled um, Discord on my Windows 11 computer and I got all these messages coming in automatically. I forgot what my settings were, so I had to go through and disable them. I know I'm not the only person that's going through that sort of issue, so I just thought I'd share that with you. If you have any questions or anything related to Discord that you're having problems with, you can go ahead and put that in the comments below. If you thought the video was useful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button for me. And if you want to get more tips and tricks for Discord, Windows, and anything else related to your PC, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.